All right, this is the season, the Christmas season, the time for sharing and giving. And at High Pro, we love and support our farmers, so we present them with lovely gifts every year to show them our appreciation for the support to our business. So we're at Unity Burgwood Farm, we're about to deliver our gift on our calendars to Mr. Owen Bartley. And a part of the Unity Group, we have Sanjay here. So follow with us on our Christmas giveaway vlog. Come. Hey guys, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to challenge farmers to start keeping the best records possible because records can allow us to improve the industry as we move forward. Especially one of those important features is our preventative health program. Our preventative health program will include selecting the right vaccine possible to protect us from harmful diseases. It would also include the right animal husbandry practices, for example, hoof trimming, that could eliminate some harmful effects on animals. We could also do the proper testing to know what type of internal parasites we're really tackling against out there in the field and selecting the right infrastructure to improve management practices. Record keeping can help us to mitigate against the harmful effects, for example, the rainy season. DJ Belly Movements was still having issues on farm and he had a foot rot problem. Foot rot will pop up during the rainy season when animals who are normally on the floor end up in muddy surroundings with contaminated soils with this bacteria that will cause lesion between the toes and this affect animal productivity. How does this impact productivity? We call this lameness where animals basically become immobile and this reduces weight gain and it also reduces milk yield as a result of the animal being a little bit more reluctant to access feed. Let's look at his treatment methods and research taken from the Michigan State University where they looked at these three different methods and the treatment efficacy. The research indicated that soaking was 38%, soaking with antibiotics was 36%, but soaking and trimming was 85%. And you should consult a vet when you do the antibiotic programs. And in some countries, they do have a vaccination program against foot rot. Let's look at some of the common topical treatments available. We can look at copper sulfate at 10%, we can use iodine at 7% and we can use ectoline to prevent fly infestation. But I will always say consult with your vet or with your livestock officer when actually applying. This is important because the best mix will be give you the best result. And we should ensure that we mix this properly and the solution should be done. Sometimes warm water is needed a little vinegar to ensure the proper mixing is done. And we should also know the ratio. So in this case, we actually had to use um, 16 pounds to 20 gallons to get that 10% solution and we actually soak properly and we give it the recommended time which is about between 15 to, to 30 minutes. So let's recap and look into what I will talk about as the preventative practices that we should conduct to eliminate you know foot rot. We should look at you know best flooring. Um, slotted floor persons really don't have these issues. Um, good sanitation, hoof trimming is you know very effective and in case of the rainy season, let's put a water bath with some copper sulfate inside of it to kind of help kill out this harmful bacteria. So thank you guys and subscribe.